The following presentation contains almost no violent scenes or any nudity to speak of. I'm sorry. If it helps, I'm not wearing any pants right now. And I cut myself shaving. So here I am again in the abandoned lot with the helicopter that the bank robbers left behind. The helicopter pilot is dead and apparently there's no traces on her. So the only thing I have to go by is a piece of shoelace I found on the sea. Guess I'll go to the FBI laboratory and have it analyzed. Wow, that does not look sanitary. I'd rather not look. He does research on the human brain. Research? Is that what you call poking around in it with a knife? He seems to be sawing off one of the body parts. Let's talk to the guy in charge. Seems that his work keeps him very busy. What is this place? You are in the FBI laboratory. It's important for Hopkins to get reminded of stuff like this. What are you doing here? Through scientific analysis, we help FBI agents in their investigation. Can you give me an example? Uh, yes. With a single hair, we can determine the age and the sex of its owner. Can you give me another example? Yes. With a piece of clothing, we can tell where it has been. Ding, ding, ding. W where's the restroom? <laughs> if you feel sick, <laughs> the exit is just behind you. I have to go. All right, let's give this fella the uh, piece of shoelace. He'll analyze the shoelace. He'll call my office to give me the results. All right, then we're done here for now. Let's go to the FBI headquarters. His attitude is kind of weird. I'm not sure what he means by that. FBI, let me see some identification. Hey, Hopkins, don't you recognize me? Ah, oh, great. Wait, is this candid camera or what? I'm Agent Jackson. Oh, that was a dated reference. Wow, why the disguise? With this disguise, I'm sure not to attract attention from criminals. Yeah, that's how it works. Hmm, what's your mission? I have to capture the guy who has been sending us anonymous letters. Let's see, what do these letters say? They're death threats to the boss. Oh, do you have any suspects? No. None for the moment. I feel so sorry for this guy. It's probably a joke. No, I don't think so. I have to go. All right, Officer Goofball. For the record, this thing about death threats will never come up again. All right, FBI headquarters. Let's see if there's any messages for me. She's the FBI switchboard operator. Do you have any messages for me? No, I have nothing for you. Is the boss in? Yeah, he's in his office. <laughs> kind of sounds like friend pressure. I have to go. All right, let's take the elevator upstairs and go see the boss. This is the only music in the game I haven't gotten sick of yet. Henry Murphy, FBI. It helps that the boss is the best character in the game. Weren't you satisfied with what I did during the bank robbery? Wonderful, Hopkins. Now you better find those killers. Right. Thanks, boss. Now get to work, Hopkins. That deserves a raise. Boss. We'll talk about that after these murderers are arrested. Okay. What the hell? I want to search your office, boss. Hopkins, I don't like your chief. I don't either, boss. I have to go. Hey, I'm not alone. The boss is watching me. I resign. Hopkins, I don't like your humor. 
I have to go. All right, we bucked the boss now. He's the big boss of the FBI. Let's leave him alone and get to Hopkins's office. Wow, I'm getting a lot of faxes. It doesn't indicate anything important. He has never read any of those. They're law books. And for some reason he has a picture of what I think is Jupiter on his wall. You can open all these drawers, but only the top one has anything in it. It's my desk. It's like that with a lot of containers in Hopkins. I found At any key. given time there might be a dozen drawers or lockers to open, and only one of them will have anything interesting in it. Anyway, this key opens this little locker. It's locked. I really don't think it's a good idea that Hopkins keep grenades in his office, or that Hopkins owns grenades at all. Anything in here? Nope. There is nothing important. Let's check out Hopkins' computer. I have no idea why the top text appears to be Italian or Spanish or something. Hopkins' password is, of course... Let's play a game! Oh man, breakout! Alright, playing this on a modern computer obviously isn't working very well. Never mind. There are a couple of files to read in Hopkins' computer, but none of them are actually relevant to the plot of the game, so I think I'll just post them in the thread instead. Let's go talk to some people. This guy reading the newspaper, for instance. Huh, it's the same guy who was outside my apartment. That's kind of suspicious. Any interesting news? What do you want to know? Sports. Which one? Ice hockey? The US beat Canada again. Aw, oh, come on. Horoscope. What sign are you? Well, personally, I'm a cancer. cancer. Stay at home. You got me there, Hopkins FBI. Did they say anything else? No, they didn't say anything else. Sports. Which one? How about baseball? One of Seattle's players had a heart attack and died during the game. <laughs> he was watching it on TV. This guy has a messed up sense of humor. I have to go. So, an actual FBI agent might find it suspicious that the same guy who's standing outside his apartment is now at his place of work, not Hopkins. He's Agent Johnson. He's talking with the switchboard operator. Agent Johnson. He only knows about one of these cases. What do we know about the strangled woman? I don't know anything about it. And that one's not it. What do we know about the garbage collector's murder? Looks like a mob hit to me. And that is his only relevant comment. What for do we the know game. about the scientist's disappearance? I don't know anything about it. Ah, uh, let's just I leave him to, to his cookie. He's Agent Morris. He's smoking a cigarette. No, he's not. What do we know about the strangled woman? It's very strange. She was not only strangled, but the killer opened the skull and removed part of her brain. Hmm. The press doesn't mention that. The details have been kept strictly confidential. We don't want to alarm the public. Have you found similar cases in the database? Yeah, I found other cases in the computer. I need to speak to the boss about this. What do you think about all this? It's probably the work of a psychopath. We've got to stop him now. 
I have to go. And again, none of this is at all relevant to the plot of the game. Here's another office to visit. It's the office of Samantha, Hopkins' girlfriend. Samantha? She's on the case of the disappearance of the scientists. And she is smoking a cigarette. No remark about that, though. Man, she needs to sue someone about that boob job. What do we know about the scientist's disappearance? Two months ago, some scientists mysteriously disappeared. Now I know I've heard this voice in Little Big Adventure, too. Mysteriously? What do you mean? Each time a scientist disappeared, he was driving his car. We found the car empty, doors open, and the lights switched on. What kind of experiments were they involved in? They were conducting genetic research. Well, what do you think about this? They must have been kidnapped by extraterrestrials. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Are we still on for dinner tonight? Yes, but at my place. What time? Eight o'clock. Mmm, I can't wait. I'll have a surprise Ooh. for you. I love you. Love you too. What? I love you. Love you too. I have to All right. go. Asking her about that date was the only reason I actually came in here. It's locked. Here's a public computer of the FBI. I'm sure this has all sorts of interesting information. No, the only thing the public computer at the FBI is used for is more breakout. Oh, I got a better score than last time. Alright, let's get out of here. I've exhausted my options here, so let's talk to the switchboard operator again and see if maybe she has any news. Do you have any messages for me? A man phoned from the laboratory. You can call him at 5625-1536. Okay, I hope that number is go. seared into your brain as it has been with mine. Because you do have to manually enter it into the telephone that's in your office. So that's 5625-1536. Ah. Who's speaking? The FBI laboratory. All right. Did you call me? Yes, I called you. Okay. Why? Have you analyzed the shoelace? Yes, we have. Okay, do I really have to pull it out of him like this? Have you found anything? The lace belongs to one of the killers. It, it's partially covered with the blood of the woman they killed. Ah. Have you discovered anything else? Some moss and some mushroom particle. Well, what exactly does that tell you? That the killers are probably hiding in a forest. All right, thank you, Mr. CSI. It's a portrait of the president. I'm not sure which one they mean. Anyway, we have a clue where the killers have gone. The forest. So I'll be visiting that in my next video. I have to go. 